of this world. And because you don't conform to things of this world, a lot of people, many people are going to hate you. Many people are going to be envious of, of you. Many people are going to be jealous of you. You are going to have a lot of enemies and haters, right? Great. But today, I'm here to tell you, no matter the number of enemies that you are facing, they will flee away. They will flee from you, all right? And we will be taking our proof text, okay, from the scripture, all right? We'll be taking our scripture reading from Deuteronomy, from 2 Timothy, from Isaiah, and from the book of Psalms, right? Great. So, chosen one, bear with me. I'm telling you, God is saying something in whatever situation or whatever circumstances that you are going through. God Almighty, who created you, who created, who created your innermost being, and knows the disposition of your heart is with you and you should never ever be afraid because god is fighting for you all right great um so our first reading we will take it from the book of um the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 right and chosen ones i read if you have your bible you can pick your bible if you don't have your bible you know how we do it you can pick a jota write the quotations down and in your quiet time you can go through them all right great so deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 the lord will defeat your enemies when they attack you they will attack from one direction but they will run from you in all directions all right your enemies may come against you in one direction in one way but the spirit of the lord the angels of the lord the seraphims the cherubims are going to pursue them all right on a slippery road they will be running on a, a slippery road a road that is full of rock that is never smooth, that is full of high and low, they'll be running on it, slippery, imagine such a road. And as they're running away, they're fleeing away, they will flee in different direction. They will come against you in one way, in one direction, but the Spirit of the Lord, the angel of the Lord will pursue them and they will run away in seven ways, I'm telling you, all right? So fear not. Don't fear your enemies, your enemies and your haters. They cannot kill you because God is with you. And who God is with, nobody can be against. You can be against such a person, but you will never succeed. It will only be a time wasted. I'm telling you, whatever you're going through as a chosen one, let it keep drawing you closer to God. Let it keep pushing you more closer to God. To keep reading your Bible the more. To keep becoming more spiritual. To keep worshiping God in spirit and in truth. And I tell you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No tongue rise up against you in judgment is going to succeed. Because God is with you. You did not choose yourself. But God chose you. And who God has chosen, he protects, he guides, he shelters, he clothes. All right? So nothing out of God's control will happen to you. Amen. You are linked up with God, and you need to believe that. Let's look at our second reading. All right? Our second reading will be taken from the book of um, um, Psalms. Okay? Psalms. One, two, nine, verse two. All right, great. And um, I read, ever since I was young, my enemies have persecuted me cruelly, mm -hmm. but they have not overcome me. Amen. Ever since you were young. Amen. Right? I always say, when we were young, they couldn't kill us. How much more now that we've grown, that we know that God loves us and we love God, we have God. And not only God, we have the Father, we have the Son, we have the Holy Spirit fighting for us. Who can be against us? Who can be against you, chosen one? All right? When you were blood of blood, they couldn't overcome you. 
right? And how much more now? So they cannot do you anything. Amen. Don't be afraid of your enemies, right? Trust in God, and I'm telling you, when you trust in God, you know, victory is assured, okay? Let's look at our third reading from the book of um, Isaiah, mm -hmm. chapter 41, verse 11 to 13, okay? Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 11 to 13. Those who are angry with you will know the shame of defeat. Those who fight against you will die. <laughs> Those who fight against you will die. They will die, chosen one. It's not me saying it. It's the Lord saying it. And you know God cannot lie. Amen. And will disappear from the earth. That is your enemy. They will disappear from the earth. Verse 13 says, I am the Lord your God. I strengthen you and say, do not be afraid. I will help you. The Lord will help you because the Lord is your helper. All right. You see, God is not a man. He's not a human being. The lies that changes his mind. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19 says that. His words will not return to him void without fulfilling each promise in your life as a chosen one. So fear not. You see, see, he says, um, those who are angry with you will know the shame of defeat. Those who fight against you will die and will disappear from the earth. I am the Lord your God. I will strengthen you and, and say, do not be afraid. I will help you. Right? So fear not, chosen one. Don't be afraid. God is with you. God will see you through. Whatever that you're going through, no matter the enemies in your family, in your workplace, in your church, in your environment, in your neighborhood, I tell you, the spirit of the Lord, the angels of the Lord are always on guard, protecting and guiding you. Don't be afraid. Right? Great. Let's take our fourth reading um, from the book of Jeremiah chapter um, chapter 8, chapter 1. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 19. And I read, listen, Jeremiah, that is Jeremiah, but it is you chosen one. Okay. God is speaking to you as well. What is good for Jeremiah is good for you. All right? Jeremiah. So you can set your name there. <laughs> Listen, Paul. Everyone in this land, the kings of Judah, the officials, the priests, and the people will be against you. But today, I am giving you the strength to resist them. Thank you, Lord. You will be like a fortified city, an iron pillar, and a bronze wall. They will not defeat you, for I will be with you to protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. It is not me speaking, but it is the Lord that has spoken. And he is not a man that lies. He's not a man that changes his mind. Believe in the word of God for your life. For the word of God is powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword that can penetrate into the heart, into the bones, into the bone marrows, into the minds, and can change all things. Right? Great. So, chosen ones, that's it. Never ever be afraid of your enemies. All right? The person you should be afraid of is God. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of mm -hmm. what? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of your enemies, of your haters. For God is with you. His words are powerful. His words will not return to him. It will fulfill a promise in your life. Amen. All you got to do is to keep on staying faithful. Keep on aligning yourself with the things of God. Keep on know, 
knowing who you belong to. Amen. Because God is with you. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Glory. Therefore, when they come against you in one direction, they will flee in seven different ways. Seven different All ways. Right? Praise the Lord Yahweh. is with you. Fear not. Okay? Right. Let's look at our last text from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 18. And the Lord will rescue me from all evil and take me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Chosen ones. These are the words of God. If you believe in the words of God for your life and you meditate on the words of God and the words of God in you sink inside you, that word of God that is in you will develop a spiritual force within your spirit, within your soul, within your body, within your entire life. And the word becoming integral part of you is Christ's personal being in you. And you will be having the personality of Christ. And the personality of Christ, when it is in you, the devil always fears you. The enemy cannot do you any harm. The enemy you see cannot do you any harm. Because Christ has already defeated the enemy. Praise Yahweh. That Amen. is what he says in the book of um, John 16. Verse 33, I have said this, that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have troubles, tribulations, but cheer up, I have overcome the world. Mm. Right? Satan has been defeated already. So victory is assured. All you need to do is to believe. And when you believe and you take your position in the believer's authority, I'm telling you, then indeed, what's Scripture says in Luke 10, 19, that I have given you power and authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all powers of the enemies. Not some powers, but all oh, powers God. of the enemy mm -hmm. will indeed be your portion. And nothing, nothing absolutely can stand against you and will succeed. I'm telling you, because God is with you and God is fighting your battle for you. I'm telling you. So trust in the Lord, believe in the Lord, continue, I mean, you know, um, giving yourself to God, continue praying, okay, committing yourself into God's hands, because the devil loses no time in plotting against you. So you should also lose no time committing yourself to God, drawing more closer to God, reading your Bible with devotion. Repeatedly, slowly, and attentively, and committing yourself and your family, soaking yourself, Amen. sealing your life with the blood of Jesus Christ. Because I've been made whole by his capital punishment. We've been set free. We are victorious and victorious indeed. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Who the Son set free is free I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Amen. In my father's house, there is a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Praise God. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am what God says I am. Praise Yahweh. You are for me and not against, against me. me. I am what God says I am. Praise Yahweh. Who the Son set free, free is free, free indeed. indeed. You I are a child God. of God. Yes, yes you, you are. are. You are I chosen are and not forsaken. Are you are what God, God says you are. Right? right? Believe it for your life, and I tell you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and no tongue 
that rise up against you in judgment will succeed. Thank you for watching this. Stay tuned. Amen. That was refreshing. Okay, that, that was Paul, and um, that is one of the replays we do often. Very encouraging. I just want to share some testimonies that came through while he was ministering. Can we just take a moment to appreciate our Father, the Almighty One who is our Avenger, Yeshua as our Savior and Redeemer. Our assignment is heaven bound. Our assignment is with the host of heaven. And of course, Brother Paul, for your dedication and your faithfulness, always on time with the messages of Yahshua HaMashiach. That's just one beautiful testimony. There are others, but I just wanted to share the people's mind and heart that celebrate this brother. You know, um, there's uh, no no rivaling, there's no, you know, there's just love and in peace and resting in the word of God. See, when you have people that love God and they're ministering, even if they're at the level of a rebuke or correction and they're ministering and, and telling you from a pure heart what God wants, it's not going to do anything but help you. It's going to encourage you. And, you know, the respect that you have for God's word is what you focus on. You don't let the enemy cause you to focus on the message messenger. One more thing that was said that's really beautiful. Brother Paul, thank you for the confirmation and message. I agree. Believe and receive this prophetic word in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you for your faithfulness at all times. The high vibration of this brother is the unity of the universe. The unity coming from the place of creativity. Creating the moment is what we do. We breathe and have our being in that moment of elevation for the purpose of making available to others. Amen. This has been truly good. I will be uh, sharing it on YouTube in honor of acknowledging this replay for Brother uh, Paul. So thank you and have a good Sunday evening.